Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you are watching Dr. Education. This is Fitness and Nutrition and we are talking about how to exercise. We are clearing your fundamentals. You've already watched my video on weightlifting belt by now and this video is about breathing techniques and the problem with holding your breath something called as Valsalva maneuver which many bodybuilders do in almost every exercise which should not be done and the reason why some of you actually feel dizzy and some bodybuilders actually faint have syncope dizziness or unconsciousness while exercising or even posing on stage so what is the reason behind all these things the reason is improper breathing techniques the, it's a fundamental thing that you have to breathe after every repetition during exercise in between every repetition you have to breathe right this is a fundamental basic which you need to understand and there is a point at which you have to exhale and there is a point at which you have to inhale the point at which you have to exhale breathe out is called sticking point this is a sports science terminology sticking point is the point at which your main force the maximum amount of force is being applied during the exercise say you are doing any kind of pushing movement so during the pushing movement when the relaxation when the uh, you know the, ex the relaxation stage when the negative repetition gets over at the point of pushing the, the weight up that time is called a sticking point that is the maximum force is needed that at that moment same goes with the pulling thing when it goes down the maximum force is that sticking point so when you contract the muscle the contraction phase you have to exhale you have to breathe out and you have to breathe in during the less uh, less uh, you know pressurized phase where you actually release that contraction right so eccentric stage you release that is something you have to do right exhale during the contraction that goes for every single exercise every single muscle in the body all right so but there are some very selective exercises where you can actually hold your breath and very selective exercises why that is important right holding the breath or actually what is you what is called as valsava is basically when you actually exhale with a closed glottis something like right exhaling with the closed glottis or valsalva the pure valsalva is something where you close your nose and your mouth and you blow hard so your ears also open right that's the pure valsalva this is a modified valsalva where you actually exhale with a closed glottis what that does is when you do some exercises which pressurizes your spine where the pressure is on the spines like squats or presses or uh, even deadlifts right what happens your, you actually can hold your breath for one second only one or maximum two seconds you have to understand this concept here because when you hold your breath when you do the well salva you have to let it go after a second if you don't let it go what will happen I'll tell you see this what happens because of holding with your breath your pressure inside the chest and abdomen increases because you're also contracting your muscles the core muscles are contracted as well as your in your exhaling the air is not coming out so the pressure increases this pressure actually compresses the spine and supports the spine so that a little 10% 5% pressure releases off the spine that's it right a little bit of pressure gets released so the spine will be little more stable for that one second so that you go through that sticking point only through that sticking point but you don't have to do it for any other exercise for arms or for chest only the exercises where there is vertical pressure coming on your spine 
only pushes and only your uh, squats or something like that so why you cannot do it for a longer time if you do it for a longer time if you hold your breath for the entire two three four five reps then you might feel dizzy and you will faint because when you hold your breath and push against a closed glottis, glottis do a valsalva the pressure incline inside your chest increases and squeezes your lung and your other major blood vessels to pump you know blood inside the la a little bit increase it will actually pump blood out of the heart and will not let other the other blood coming inside the heart will not come inside until you release your breath because the pressure is constantly there so the blood will not come inside the heart so how will it how it will go out right that's why your cardiac output drops your stroke volume drops your heart rate increases your blood pressure will rise because all your body will try to again counter that balance and contract the blood vessels all around and your blood pressure will rise immediately after 2 seconds three times three times or even more and then your blood pressure will fall after four five seconds very fast and you will feel dizzy and you might faint you might have a syncope this is the valsalva's stages phases which you can even see online wherever you want to study right so <clears throat> that's why you should never hold your breath during exercise only for a second maximum one second or two you can do the valsalva modified valsalva where you actually push the airway against a closed glottis and release it slowly remember to release it slowly you have to do this that is important release the pressure within a second if you keep it you will have that side effect decrease cardiac output high highest blood pressure there can be a lot of side effect because of this so this is a fundamental information which you should know why people faint during exercises or during posing because in posing also they do this same thing without even knowing that what they are doing that's why people faint so remember to use this information share this information with whatever people uh, you do exercise with in your gym in your friend circle and your colleagues so this is dr paramjit hope this information was useful and uh, don't forget to watch the complete series of how to exercise right it's also called kaise banegi body uh, in hindi and in english we are uh, also doing the same thing again Right so till next time I'm Dr Paramjit stay connected and stay healthy